Hello ladies, welcome back. Thank you for coming back. I see Barbara and Rita. Yes, Rita, um, this is all different, so you can watch it, or you can be on, um, on the live. Oh, hold on, let me just turn down. There, you can be on all of them, um, because they're all different. So I wanted to spread out the presentations throughout the day, so I was, I was not keeping everybody glued to the computer for four hours straight, so that gave me a little bit of time in between and gave you a little bit of time and go ahead with your day and that's it so that was my idea so you can watch this hello Talia slash Heika welcome back good afternoon um, okay here we go we're back this is the last session and we're gonna do two I'm gonna do two projects do presentations and um, then we'll be done and I really really you don't know how much I appreciate you coming back and watching all my presentations and stuff like that I hope you're enjoying it um, this is my first time but you know I guess we gotta go with the program um, <laughs> this is what right now the situation requires and we're gonna go on and do the best that we can and you know what I kind of like it cuz it pushed me out of my comfort zone okay so we're gonna start today this afternoon and I'm gonna go over for those of you that have not seen um, yet I, I probably think you did um, saw the in color so I'm gonna just talk about quickly about the in color show you my samples with all the cards and we're gonna go over the in color and also repeat uh, what I'm offering with the ink color share. Let's see if I have my little paper here. Maybe yes, maybe no, obviously. Okay, so ink colors. Let's see if I can remember. This is cinnamon cider. Let's see if you can see them. Okay, cinnamon cider. This should be magenta madness. Look how they I love them together. This is Midnight Misty Moonlight. See? This is Just Jade. Easy peasy. And this is Bumblebee. What do y'all think? Welcome back. Kim, Mackenzie, Pam, and everybody. Remember your comments and your shares get you more in entries in my door prizes okay and uh, I might add something extra to the door prizes that I already have but um, I'll figure it out tomorrow today I'm just focusing on showing you some of the things that I love the most out of the catalog right I agree with you Kim I think they all go well together I mean yellow bumblebee and just Jade yes Bumblebee and Cinnamon Cider. I love it. Uh, cinnamon Cider and Just Jade. Yes. These two together. These two together already did. These two for sure. Misty Moonlight and Magenta Madness. They go together. To me, these go together. Uh, yes. Yes. Look at them. And oh, this is so cool. I like that. Even these are Colonial Forge colors. <laughs> Love the color. Misty is my favorite. Me too. The blue is my favorite. But look, these are Colonial Forge <laughs> colors. And um, I think there's a private school that is um, that is. Um, that has these colors too and these two oh yeah baby I agree I like him so I did everything so they stamping up knocked it out of the park with this selection of ink colors 
just love it um, the designer series paper obviously I was supposed to get it out but no let's see if I all have all of the patterns so please excuse this because <laughs> I'm using it so we have these two patterns that are the opposite so one side one side is this kind of fabricy look and then the other side is the polka dot and then we have this side that has the print and you know what this print is right this is the statement statement of the heart of the heart for stamping up and it's in uh, English in um, German in French and that's all I think yeah because I don't re recognize the other um, languages also because I can see much with my glasses yes this is one and then the other side is a wood grain so let's see look at this wood grain right there so these are the pot patterns one two three and four okay what I'm offering in the uh, paper share not the paper share but the in color share for $26 you will get oh I forgot the ribbon the ribbon these are the ribbons okay very pliable easy peasy to use I love them all so the ribbon you get two and a half yards so I'm dividing the spool of ribbon in between four people okay then you get a fourth of a pack of the DSP, so it means that you're getting 10 sheets, two each of the colors for the designer series paper. You're going to get 10 card bases, meaning that you're going to get two card base per color. And then you're going to get one of these, okay? A pack of enamel dots for $26 plus shipping if I have to ship it to somebody outside I mean if you cannot come and pick it up then I can ship it to your house or if it is porch pickup is only $26 but you get a selection I did not include the ink pads in my share okay uh, the ink pads you can buy the set I'm missing the one that I'm going to use it where is the other one? Oh yeah I'm using it uh, later for the other product. So this you can buy the the five ink pads. I think it's thirty three dollars and seventy five cents. But you get it at a ten percent discount because you can buy it in um in a bun bundle. They call it bundle. And then we have the re anchors, and also we have the blends. I have only two of them because the other ones, these two are on back order, so I will get them. There is not a set of da of um who blends for the bumblebee color because we already have colors that are really really similar. So uh, they didn't want to do a du du um, duplicate, okay? so but you get these and this is the new format that you're gonna get your blends remember in the previous catalog you could choose the light and the dark separately but because they figure out that people were buying the combo of the two so they decided to just eliminate and just go with the combo so this is how we get it no difference in price is the same price as though it was in the other catalog so nine dollars each okay so these are the ink colors these are also punches that we have available still this is the large and the medium daisy punch this goes with the um, tulip set and then this is the punch that goes with the oh I don't remember the name of it I wish I could remember but this is the punch so you punch two and you in alternate and you get this one okay so these are the samples for the ink colors right there. What we're going to make with the ink colors, let me put all this stuff away. We're going to work with ink colors with a card. 
with a stamp set that I love that is part of this suite flowers for every season and this has all so stamping up on top of the designer series paper specific for the ink colors they also came out with this um, flower for every season uh, designer series paper that has all, all the five ink colors right here and the patterns are just yummy and they come in six, six by six and let's see so you have this is the um, Chris could be Christmassy Christmassy look at that I don't know if you can see it so you have four sheets Ooh, look at this four sheets for every pattern I played with this and so excuse they're not in order but you have four sheet of this and then the other side is this one and right there and then you have ooh, even those are nice look at this this is bumblebee and stripes and then we have this pattern nice this is just jade and then on the other side you have roses what I realized that um, this designer series paper can go with this sweet but also we have different stamp sets in the catalog that could work with this designer series paper so it's not so look at these roses whoa baby and then the other side we have the flowers and these are all the ink colors and then hello ladies make sure welcome back thank you for doing this for coming back to me uh, let me see this and then we have the same pattern but in yellow but this one and then we have this blue that goes with this hold on because I mix and match and I'm telling you this is wintry for me with the green on the other side and then what do we have we have that one we already saw it this is my favorite because it has the combination of the two three colors that I like and this is even this one on the other side this I think already showed it to you there there yes so they're all mixed up I'm sorry because I was searching through I'm gonna just but um, this is also a uh, designer series paper pack that is included it, it is part of my designer series paper share so make sure to let me know if you would like to get into this designer series paper the my designer series paper share okay and I uh, I will as soon as I have four people then I will start placing the order and so I can just um, go on and fill out all the spots okay so this but we're using this because I love it I just love this okay and I'm gonna show you samples from that that I got that I made of stuff that I made and stuff that I got back as a um, swaps hello Marion hello Kathy thank you hello Sandy Pam hello Lily. thank you for coming okay so this is my swap that I designed I made 16 of these I decided this is um, embossed in white I love it okay and then this is the other one that I did on my Facebook live last week um, awaiting to do the drawing for it and I used a new embossing folder I love them then this is um, somebody this is Amy Combe I think it is look she did that she stamped and I copy that folder fold I didn't even realize that was in the fold everything look at this coloring this is with blends I think they did yes look at that and then this is embossed stamped look she stamped it and then just die cut this and glued it on the top just gorgeous I'm telling you okay so this 
stamp set comes. This is how big it is. Okay, I'm using this. Um, if you, this is not my idea. I saw it somewhere else. If you don't like, you know that these are so sticky, right? If you have them, close it down, and then they stick to the other side. But I saw it somewhere that if you put the side where the stamp, the um, the label come out from, and you put it down like this, they will not stick to anything. Look at that. So this is the stamp set, and it's shown on the on the cover of the stamp the set that is at 90 percent and you can tell why because this is huge okay I love the the font the mixture of everything I already told you that and they come in a bundle and this these are all the dies they go with the stamp set okay some die cut the images and then we have extra like this one these two are extra um, obviously this one that gives the top it, it is extra um, and that's it okay so let's go on and show you the card that I put together um, a little while ago because you know me I'm um oh last minute Lucy that's who uh, a friend of mine called me you're putting yeah last minute Lucy yes I am Okay, so the card that I designed in the last 20 minutes is this. It's very simple, but at the same time, it packs a lot. Watch this. This is simple. You know, simple and easy. Easy peasy. So this is the card. <laughs> yes, Kim. I'm doing the right job if your li wish list is getting longer and longer. And I'm just showing you what? Four different things. The catalog is full of just wonderful, wonderful stuff that I haven't even played with. So this is simple. Highlighting the uh, the dies. Just a little bit of stamping. Design a series paper. And a little bit of a technique. Simple and easy. And a, just a simple fun fold. Okay? So this is the card. That I'm going to show you and also I thought that if you get you know if you place an order that qualifies for the free kits uh, then this will be something that you can just um, do on your own without having the stamp but obviously if you like the stamp and the bundle you can always purchase it okay because I will provide this die cut this die cut and everything and this celebrate you can put any sentiment that you want okay but everything will be pretty ready for you and this stamping you can omit it or stamp something else okay so let me show you how easy peasy this is okay so what I have done this is a eight and a half by five and a half I scored at four and a fourth in half and then this part in half so this is two and one eighth and then we're gonna fold it this way simple and easy taking the bone folder and then fold it the opposite way so we have a Z fold okay simple you know me easy peasy nice and easy right okay so this is the opening and this can be done put away and I'm gonna take um, a little strip of the designer paper that has the sunflowers and using the new the new um, glue Oh, tape look how this can go with that oh my golly oh boy this paper I'm doomed and I will use it and use it over and over again okay done nothing to do on that let me do the stamping here so I show you the technique that is easy peasy okay you can do it two ways. You can take your markers. You see that this has two colors. In. You can take your markers and just color on here using the two markers. But to go quick, -er, I'm going to ink all with the lighter of the two colors. And then using the brush tip of the watermark, of the water-based um, marker, I'm going to go. Now, I don't have... I don't have yet the ink color markers 
okay because I haven't bought them yet so I'm using this is garden green that is pretty close to um, the color just jade and I am just gonna color the leaves that's it close and I can do this just with these markers you cannot do it with the blends remember you cannot color directly on the rubber with the blends okay then I'm gonna huff and puff and I'm going to stamp it let's see if I did a good job or not that's it voila easy peasy nice and easy okay this is called markering I guess this is the markering technique and this part is done so that was the only stamping for this and I you know that you should okay you should not do the check mark just go up and don't press too hard there I gotta remember because I'm used to using the the old style and I need to remember not to apply too much pressure so this is the card right there now I die cut it using these two so I'm gonna show you so I went I should have keep it open for you so these are the dies that I used I used this to die cut that part then I used this little feller to die cut this and then this one goes around this dies you can use it when you stamp your image with the sunflower and you can die cut it okay so they do match so I've done that let me put everything in there so I don't lose anything and then I'm gonna use I could poke all these out if I wanted to but I don't think I want to because you can poke these yeah I start it then I have to do it oh boy so I could have used my dye brush and poke it out and I'm just gonna do a few okay just to give it a little bit of a different thing feel just a few okay then I'm taking guess what mini dimensionals and I'm gonna place them here where you don't get to see them right there and now the fun part we should be able to match kind of I think by looking at this way something that twist and I think this is that yeah no nope, not yet this voila so I'm gonna it's better if I do this for first and finagle and if he does it doesn't match that's okay it is pretend it's not real right but I think we can match it look at that here we go now for this I want it to be popped up so I'm going to take two dimensionals one in the middle there and I'm gonna peel it off and then I'm gonna build a little tower of dimensionals two of them will raise it so this will stick up a little bit so it gives you a little bit of um you know there's a little thing there that I didn't wanna Ooh. You see, there's a one, um, there, there was a mini glue dot, no, a mini dimensional showing off. So I just took the stuff and with this gorgeous tool, I was able to pick up the small part and stick it. Now, then I die cut these leaves in just jade. So ladies, when you put your card together, it's going to really, really be easy peasy nice and easy okay and you know my trick uh, not to waste too much adhesive I'm gonna use it and do it this way and just go simple and easy as you notice in this one I did not use any embellishment any ribbon nothing Ooh. I just want it to be a quick one because I think it's busy enough there I'm going to secure 
this right there and then one here just to make sure on this side and one here with my dimensionals so I know that my sunflower will stick this needs to be peeled out peeled off and I'm going to just put it out there like so making sure that I stay within so this is that okay now the sentiment is this let's celebrate you so I'm going to stamp in memento lady this memento is on not available yet hopefully I just looked at the status it will be available in um, July so let's pray and I'm just stamping it doesn't really matter if I'm stamping it straight or not because then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to chop it right there chop it right there chop it and chop it and hopefully it will be a straight cut hmm not too bad that's how I got my celebrate and it's gonna be going over here okay one right here and one here peel it off like so and my celebrate will be right there okay what do you think <laughs> this was easy right the die cut did it all so you can make a bazillion of this because die cutting is not bad at all because you can cut two of these at a time I think you can cut two of these at a time and then these you can repeat this is something that you can mass produce if you'd like and I think these colors go so well together and these are all in colors just jade bumblebee and cinnamon cider and there you go simple and easy so this your kit will include all the bits and pieces no stamping no stamping I will give you a strip of paper and you can stamp whatever you want and then you'll have your envelope and you can embellish your envelope the way you, you like or just leave it be okay so this is the project that I was going to show you with the ink colors okay there's will be an, another one but it, it, it will have only one ink color but this is it has three okay so this is done such a pretty sunflower yeah my sunflower <laughs> just I told you right <laughs> that I went in the middle of the sunflower field in the middle of the summer when I was visiting Italy with my volleyball teammates and okay this was recently a few years ago so we were already grown up and moms and everything but we just went and did it and we wanted our sunflowers okay so this is done let me move it to the side and let me show you the other card let me clean it otherwise this chamois is the bomb because look it cleans so well look at my stamping area it's so clean <laughs> never usually is messy okay and then if you have questions please ask if I can answer any if I know I will answer if I don't I will find the answer okay am I centered yes I move this paper all the time the last project uh, that I want to show you I'm gonna start with the paper hello Marsha hello ladies remember make a comment okay I'm gonna start showing you the paper because I think this is so cool and if Pam is on she will love this and this is the whale of a time designer series paper I didn't realize that this was a six by six until I paid attention <laughs> duh and but look even if you want to do scrapbook pages with this you can still do it just break it down 
four over there and then you have these four look at this just the colors on this paper then I'm gonna flip it around we have these look at how colorful this doesn't belong there these then we have these so this is a uh, it goes that side look at these with the turtle and you can die I mean not die cut but you can um, fussy cut these if you'd like so this is another nice you can cut in half it could be an extension and do your scrapbook page this way and that way one will be the top and the other one could be the bottom okay one two three four right there these I think you can punch them out with the punch because this is a bundle um, that has a punch okay wow ladies I'm just looking at these now okay because I got them in yet last night look at how fun this is and then we're gonna flip it and these okay oh <gasps> look at this imagine this with a nice picture in there wow beautiful what do you think Christine the chamois okay when you get it let me answer when you get it it looks like this mostly like this this color and it is in a cello bag from stamping up and it's still it's already a little bit moist okay when you need to use it and keep it you got to keep it moist so what what I do I run it under water then I bring it it's not wet it's just moist okay it will um, stain like this it will never get back to this color but you can put put it in your washer with detergent obviously when you take it out no need to dry it it will change the color because of the washing um, but yeah this is um it's like a chamois you know and it's damped that's that's what it is I don't have the other one to show you this is the one that I use the least and the other one is basically uh, I don't have any but yeah you gotta keep it like I keep it in these old some of them are damaged because um, these are the cases that we the stamping up cells uh, but you can keep it in a ziploc bag and when it dries out just keep it in um, you can air dry it and just keep it to the side when it's time for you to use it you just wet it okay that's how you use it okay yes you can put it in the washer just don't put it in the dryer um, so yeah you can do that so this is the front this is the back I'm gonna go this way this is the front and this is the back so this is the front let's see what the back is in green with all the I don't know how you call him you know English and me this Ugh. what and this is the other one I guess I saw it before so flip it we have these one two three four so 48 sheets you get four for each pattern for a total of twin uh, 12 this is the other corals there and then we have the sea horses and the other side these are waves we have what are these seaweeds look at the little fishy nice all the colors this scenery will turn and looks like um the sun has rays coming down oh cute and then we have fishies the turtles one two three four and then we have a net kind of and then we have these these are oh i don't know, remember the name and these these are the the stinging one and then we have the big whales and big waves and then look at this hmm one two three four and coral on the other side okay so I showed you this paper this is 1150 comes in six by six 48 of them 
and then I'm gonna show you what we're gonna make okay so the card that I first of all let me show you where this is in the catalog it's called the whale whale of a time and it's this Ta -da! did I show you to before I don't think so oh thank you Barbara yeah jellyfish <laughs> duh so this is whale of a time it is a suite a suite of product so you get your stem set and punch this time in a bundle you get sequence and then it has the seabed 3d embossing folder and this is what it's part of um, my ordering special this is a six by six look at that wait and see what it does when I show you the piece but this is what you can get with a hundred dollars or more and then you have this a pack of 40 I said 40 um, DSP six by six plus the chance to get um, in the drawing to win this host set I think this is lovely because it covers yep okay so I showed you this and then stamp set whale all the time well 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 done thanks well done my love for you is bigger than the ocean hoping your birthday fishes come true and then you have all these images that are you know um, they go with the designer series paper the punch is a whale punch okay this is the punch can you see so you can punch the whale you will punch the little water spritz whatever and then this is for the high and these are for the fin is if it is, and then the belly okay I'm gonna show you this is that and then we have the ribbon that goes with that and this ribbon is a sheer ribbon pool party okay that's it I'm gonna show you what I've designed and ladies for this one so this is the card ready set and go this is the card let's see if you can see it what do you think this is the card if you can see it I don't know and so I used the embossing folder and look how detailed this is I just love it and I used this is pool party this is oh my golly this is the other ink color the pretty peacock pool party pretty peacock and um, Calypso coral because if you look in the back of the designers your paper paper pack it says then we have balmy blue blackberry bliss bumblebee Calypso coral granny apple green just jade so I mix and match. I made it my own. Pool, um, pool party, pretty peacock, shit is spruce, and whisper white. Okay. So what I did, and I went ahead and did a little bit of um, the work for you, so you didn't have to sit and watch me. So I did this. What did I do inside? Oh, look! I stamped all the fishes. Okay. This is good. Um, this could be even a baby card, you know. And this can be for a boy, a girl. I think is unisex, meaning it can even be for an adult or a teenager or something, you know. I think there. So what I did. This is Calypso Coral this is that look at these two together then I went ahead and already embossed with this one this is so I don't know if you can see it can you see it it has starfish and then all, all the little weed seaweed and everything I think it's just gorgeous gorgeous imagine doing this in different colors multicolors Woohoo! Gotta try it. Okay, so I did that so I can go ahead and glue 
this part to this part and this is pops up nicely okay one thing to remember when we use this not to press too hard otherwise it might even um, uh, pick up a little bit of the car stock so just be gentle and just roll it okay and then we're gonna go down right here hopefully it will be straight 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 maybe yes maybe no mm, yes okay then I'm taking my sheer ribbon and that's the first thing that I'm gonna do so then I can just leave it be and I'm gonna tie my bow I'm gonna tie my bow right here look this sheer is so nice so nice you know me and bows right and ribbon an embellishment and everything and I'm gonna just trim it and so this is done and I can move it to the side and then decide how it goes and you can finagle if you want to you pull in there okay that part is done then I'm gonna take what did I do ahead of time so I have vellum right here I have a piece of designer series paper we can do it this way the way it's going this way or we can do this but I like it this way better so what I'm gonna do this is gonna go down here okay and glue it so I can move this to the side for the time being and then glue this this is gonna go on quick I didn't want to put any glue. Ooh, this is gonna stick more. Oh no, there. Then this goes, let me just do this. Ah, put this one down for the time being. And I'm gonna put this one right here because I cut it three, so I could use more. Then this little fella goes here and I'm gonna put a dimensional where are my dimensionals? Dimensionals right here. And I'm going to put one here just for the time being. I can do one on this side and one right here. So then I will have to cover it with the um, whale. Okay. Then what I did, I punched out already and you get all the bits and pieces so when I punch it out I got my whale and then I punched out this piece and then an extra the fin and then the little eye okay and I used my you pick tool to put a little bit of glue and then position the eye on top it was easier to do it that way okay and then I think my whale is gonna go this way like so what do you think yep and I'm gonna just put um, this Ooh, sticky and this is gonna go like so and now whoops where's my other part I lost it oh no oh right here you come come to mama so this goes right there and this little thing goes right there look this pokey tool does the job so I'm going to lift this and then I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here if it comes off it's a little bit too much I'm gonna set it aside and let it stay in this one a little bit because it was too much of a glue there so this has to go like so I mean this requires a little bit of playing but you know and this one I'm gonna wipe it off with a little bit of paper because I don't want that much voila done and then with this 
stick it. And then this one, we're going to clean it later. Oh, it goes the other way. Around. Sorry, ladies. Well, I'll, I'll make it work. I'll modify the one that you're going to get. Well, you don't have to get it because you, you got to get put it together yourself. And then this will go underneath. It will stop right there. And then I'm going to stamp for you quickly. And I'm using Calypso Coral and Just Jade. And look how beautiful this Just Jade stamps. I showed you how I do. I'm going to do my pads, all my pads now. One on the side, one in the front, and one inside. So you, you see them when you have them open or the stacking up, everything. So let's do stamp this and this will go right here. I'm going to flip it because it was cut. Can you see me stamping? You don't have to see me stamping. Oops. And this is going to go like so. Voila. Simple and easy. And then we're going to get with Calypso Coral. And let's do these fishy. Like so. And then while I'm stamping the fishies, I'm going to do it here. It's going to be up, and then I went down, and then I went up, and then I went down. Nice border. Look at that. Done. Then I'm going to take this, take my scissors, and just do so. And I am done 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 this is gonna go right here gonna go underneath and it's gonna go with dimensionals one and two okay you will be so happy when the take your big <laughs> yes the this tool is the bomb it's small but mighty I will have to say small but mighty okay and this is gonna go up there like so no actually this should be over going over not under over not under and voila you go under there actually we're gonna move this a little bit Okay, and that's it, we're done. This card is done like so. Then it's gonna go on this with, guess what? Dimensionals and so for this card you will receive all the bits and pieces everything punched and embossed a few of the sequins that I'm gonna um, put in and then ladies uh, the sentiment you can stamp whatever you'd like so let me do the the sequins they're here I don't know if you noticed but this is like a little shell okay we have shells in there too imagine making a uh, what you may call it making um, mm, a shaker card I have to try it so the easy way for me is to just put um, a little bit of glue a tiny bit to where I want it to go because it's easier to glue it this way than just do the opposite and then with take your pick tool we're gonna just pick something like this it's gonna go right there they will be all different, okay? And then we're gonna pick the, the shell. This time it's gonna go up there and it's a little shiny in case you don't see it. And then something else, whatever picks pops up. Something bigger than that. Okay, and this goes the other, oop, 
look at oh 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 I want this voila so it's easier to maneuver the small little things I'm gonna close these otherwise they're gonna fall over and we are going to glue the inside and this card is done okay be gentle Monica gentle and don't I'm doing something that gentle and gentle there and the card is finished and my show is over I'm gonna bring in all the samples that I created for you today okay and I'm going to remind you so this was the one okay and then so this was the first one we did the world and then we did the um, what's the name of this ornate garden sweet the whale and then these two okay so these are the cards that you will get supplies with an order that is over $35 you would get everything die cut um, and prep for you no stamping involved okay so these are the cards you know that I cannot keep it simple right no they have to be they have to have bling and ribbon and everything else what you get I'm gonna show you yet again so with the over 35 you're gonna get this with over 30 over 50 you're gonna get the kit the supply kit and this ribbon the faux suede that we used in this one when you if you order over $75 you will get the kit with this embossing folder that is part of the ornate garden suite okay and when you order a hundred dollar or more you're gonna get this embossing folder plus a pack of 40 sheets of six by six designer series paper okay and the chance to win and the drawing to chance to win this stamp set okay you can email me your order you can go ahead and place it online and I think I have here I will post the host code for you um, I think I post a picture on the Facebook uh, page here uh, of all this, this exact um, picture so it gives you all that you're gonna get this is the host code and then um, what else I think I posted a picture of my paper shares right here paper ribbon and in color share and um, that's it so if you want to participate in any of these I will have to wait until I have four people that have paid so it means that the group is filled up and then I can start going ahead and order the paper the one thing that we have to remember I think there is one set of paper and I think is the um, it's the world of good that is on back order so we will have to wait for that to come in before I can uh, give you the share okay for the ribbon I need five people if anybody's interested but I have to wait for five people paying five people and then for the in color share I need to have four people that have paid okay um, contact me send me an email tell me telling me what you will like and then I will send you the link is gonna be PayPal uh, friends and family and then um, we'll go from there okay ladies I really appreciate you you don't know how much okay you know that um, I cannot do this without you I'm here because you're helping me you're following me and um, there are no words okay so my thank you is providing you with this and then the little extra gifts and stuff also because I told you that I'm uh, getting closer to my uh, extra stay in Maui that's the incentive trip for this year so every little bit helps and um, that's it so I want to say goodbye enjoy your weekend or your Sunday and if you have any question feel free to ask me email me 
text me um, or um, anything else. Uh, let me just pull this. Uh, Christine, since you're there, I think you, requ you requested a catalog and uh, I have it ready. So would you like me to mail it to you or because Rita is coming, uh, Rita wants one too. So let me know if you want the catalog mailed out or just come and get it. Okay, let me just unhook this and without, because I want to say goodbye and I hope I'm not going to destroy anything. So, okay, flipping outside. Okay, ladies, thank you. Thank you for following me today. And I hope that pretty soon we can um, get together. Okay. Um, Okay, so um, Christine, I'm gonna send you an email with the link for you to pay for the um, the shipping charges because um, it is seven dollars and fifteen cents to mail because it's it's a thick one and heavy and that's the cheapest way for me to if I do regular mail it would be nine dollars so I have to mail it um, flat rate um, okay. Rita, no, the catalog that she's talking about is the same that you have, okay? So I'm still mm, uh, giving people their catalogs because I needed to wait for uh, them to come in, a second shipment, okay? Um, that's all. So I will, how much does a catalog cost? Re uh, Ruth, um, I need to check if you're qualified, you're gonna get the catalog for free but you needed to have spent um, $50 in the past year. If you don't, your catalog would be just $5 pick up. If you wanna come and pick it up, no shipping uh, applied, okay? Uh, if somebody wants to have it mailed, then it will be uh, $7.50 for the mailing. In your catalog, if you have to pay for the catalog, there's a there will be a, oh my golly, a gift certificate for the for five dollars that you can apply to a future order but if you are qualified for having a free catalog then if you want to come and pick it up it's gonna be at no cost okay so let me know and ladies if you need one let me know if you don't, don't already have one or use it from and so um, let me know, okay? I was sorry, I was somebody already <laughs> just uh, texted me or private messaged me, so that's I was paying attention to that. But um, I hope you enjoyed today. Uh, you learned something new, or you saw something that you liked, and um, just go and um, have fun with uh, looking into your catalog. Uh, Haika, your catalog is gonna go out tomorrow, um, Monday, okay? Ship Monday. Ladies, have a great weekend, the rest of your weekend, and thank you so much. You don't know how much I appreciate you from the bottom of all my heart, okay? Bye.